person who is unwilling to repent. And the church bears responsibility before God to be the instrument of discipline. That's what church discipline is about. It's not independent of the Lord. The Lord is the head of the church. He says in Matthew 18, when you do this, when you discipline, there am I in the midst of you. It's always a sad thing to do this, but this is bringing heaven down. This is what the Lord wants. He wants discipline. And one of the forms of discipline that he uses is to be put out of the church, to be publicly shamed, to be put away from the fellowship. In this case, it applies to Eileen Gray. Her husband David and Eileen have been in the church for him many years, not, some, not too long ago really, Eileen decided to leave her husband to grant no grace to him at all, to take the children, to go away, to forsake him, not to reconcile, to reject all of the instruction and counsel of the elders, all the instruction from the Word of God. Many, many of our pastors have been involved in this very tragic situation in which she continues to throw accusations against her husband. We've done everything we can to call her to repent, so now we have to do what the Bible says and put her out and treat her as if she's an unbeliever, for all we know she may well be. We pray for Eileen Gray that she will repent. And that the joy of her salvation will be restored. Pray for David, for the sympathy, the compassion, and the loving kindness of God to be his portion. Well, let's sing Amazing Grace.